Hi everyone! In today's video, we will use Lagrangian mechanics to find the equations of motion for a simple pendulum. We have a pendulum with mass m and length l. Let's start by defining a coordinate system. We'll have x going to the right, y going up, and we'll choose our origin to be where the pendulum swings. Now, our mass has coordinates xm and ym. Solving for xm, we see that xm is L sine theta, and ym is going to be minus L cosine theta. The minus sign is because when theta equals zero, our pendulum is beneath the x-axis. Let's set these equations aside, because we'll need them later. Also, let's take derivatives with respect to t, as that will be useful. Keep in mind that theta is a function of time, so when we do these derivatives, we need to use the chain rule. All right, now let's find the kinetic energy of a system. We see that our velocity vector has an x and a y component, which gives us the equation v squared equals x dot m squared plus y dot m squared. We plug in our expressions for x dot m and y dot m, and then simplify to get an expression for v squared. Finally, we plug this into our expression for the kinetic energy, and we get our final expression in terms of theta. Now, we're ready to solve for our potential energy V. V equals mgh, where h is the height of our mass above the x-axis. We already have h, so that's just ym, so plugging in our expression for ym, we end up with an expression for our potential energy in terms of theta. Now that we have t and v, we can plug into our Lagrangian. L is t minus v, so we just substitute and then simplify to get an expression for L. Now that we have L, we can plug into the Euler-Lagrange equation. If you look up the Euler-Lagrange equation in a textbook, it will have all these cues. The cue is just referring to your particular coordinate system, in our case, it's just theta, because we can describe the position of the pendulum in terms of theta. Next, we'll plug L into the Euler-Lagrange equation, and then solve this to obtain our equations of motion. We'll start by factoring out this ML term, and then dividing. The first derivative we're going to do is with respect to theta dot, and the argument is theta dot, so we can just use the power rule. The next derivative is of g cosine theta with respect to theta dot. Because g cosine theta doesn't have any theta dots in it, this derivative is just zero. Now we'll take a derivative of l theta dot with respect to t to get l theta double dot. This next derivative is also going to be zero since there's no thetas in the argument. Finally, we'll differentiate g cosine theta with respect to theta to get minus g sine theta. From here, we just rearrange and then solve to get an expression for theta double dot. The last thing we'll do is write this as a system of ODEs, so Python can simulate a system. When we plug the ODE into Python, we get this nice animation of the pendulum swinging back and forth. In the next video, we'll skip all the calculus and just derive the equations of motion using Python directly from the Lagrangian. As always, if you found this helpful, please consider leaving a like, comment below, and subscribe. Thank you!